the return of supersonic air travel just might have come a step closer. There we are. XB1 is supersonic, faster than the speed of sound. US startup Boom Supersonic sent its XB1 jet through the sound barrier on Tuesday. It says the test flight over the Mojave Desert marked the first time any privately funded plane has hit the landmark speed. Legendary pilot Chuck Yeager was the first human to exceed the sound barrier back in 1947. Such speeds have since become routine for many military aircraft. But supersonic travel hasn't been on offer to airline passengers for some two decades. That is, since the Anglo-French Concorde was retired in 2003. Its success was limited by high operating costs that made tickets very expensive. Now Boom has plans to develop a successor. Dubbed Overture, it's meant to carry up to 80 passengers across the Atlantic in about 3.5 hours. That's roughly half the time taken by a regular jet. Company CEO Blake Scholl says regulations are now the main stumbling block. T today we have one of the, the silliest rules in the world, which is you can't fly supersonic over land, uh, no matter how quiet the airplane is. And so we are, you know, we're picking up where Concorde left off. Uh, initially, we'll fly right under the speed of sound over land, which is still 20% faster than a Boeing or Airbus. And over the water, we'll open up the throttles and go twice as fast. Boom hopes those regulations will change and says Overture will be much more economical to operate than Concorde. The firm has completed construction on a factory for the new plane in Greensboro, North Carolina. It says it has 130 orders and expressions of interest from American Airlines, United Airlines and Japan Airlines. But years of research and development still lie ahead before any passenger boards a supersonic flight.